Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we have another foundation review. And today, I am reviewing this foundation. This one is by Tarte. This is the clay stick foundation. And I got mine in the shade medium natural. Okay, so I actually got this foundation because the other day, Sephora had this 70% off sale and this foundation originally around 160 something and it was on sale for I believe it is 70 ringgit if I'm not mistaken so this is how it looks like it is very uh, sleek and small and it feels heavy too it has cute detailing and it has the shade name underneath this is how it looks like. I actually already swatched it on the back of my hand. So this is how much you will get from this foundation. Like, so I have already put my brow products on. And then I already primed my face using my Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, it feels creamy. And slightly thick. I never really use uh, this kind of foundation before, and I also very skeptical about this. So far, it blends nicely. <laughs> I pretty much don't have any coverage at all. Like, let me check. Oh, although it looks very light on the skin, but my skin looks so nice, you guys. What? Okay, I'm gonna apply a little more. Because this is way too light for my life. You know me, I am a full coverage queen. I like my cake face. Yeah, as I said before, I'm very skeptical about uh, this thick foundation because I just have this feeling that it will glide off my face and also it is very it is not long lasting in my opinion okay this isn't for coverage this is light to medium guys oh I have a crown <laughs> Wait, my skin looks glowing. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Can you guys see that? It does not cling on my dry patches. Wow, this is beautiful. Like, it gives me a glowing skin, kind of. Alright guys, I'm done with my makeup for today. But, I'm gonna spray my SPF sunscreen because I do not wear any sunscreen under my foundation so I'm gonna spray using my uh, what is this sunscreen mist by skin aqua is it meant to lay them I think so so I'm gonna take my lanish it must look a bit My lip feels kind of dry. It is almost 2.30 um, yeah today's gonna be a long day we're gonna 
do grocery shopping, run some errands. I'm gonna check in with you in a little. Oh, it is five o'clock. This is how my face looks right now. So it is now six o'clock. This is how my foundation looks like. I do not blot, I do not touch up my face makeup. Ah, oh, hi! <laughs> Oh, you wanna? Okay, stop recording. Hi guys, it is now 9.40 in the evening. So here is my update or my final check-in of me wearing this foundation. You guys, at 5 hours of me wearing this foundation, it looks so beautiful. Good. It does not cling into my dry patches. It does not settle into my pores. It does not emphasize anything that I don't want to, like my texture and all. But now it is already, I think, around wait, it is six or seven hours of me wearing this foundation. Um, this is normal to me, and I want to show you. My nose, I don't know, I got some alliteration or is this my lipstick? Okay, if you guys are new to my <coughs> excuse me. If you guys are new to my foundation review, I do not touch up, I do not blot my face. Uh and I will test the longevity of the foundation because I want to. Except I will only touch up my lipstick because you know I eat and all. So yeah, please don't mind my lips. It is super duper disgusting. But anyway, my thought on this foundation is that um, it is very nice, natural to medium coverage. It is very natural. It is not full coverage at all. As you guys can see here, it started to grab the dry bridges on, on this area. And on my nose, it is so oily. But that that is expected because my pores are so large, especially on my nose. And this is forehead. I do not touch it up. It's quite oily, you guys. If you have dry skin, you need to properly hydrate your skin before you apply this foundation or if you have like a smoothing primer you would I would ref I would definitely recommend you to apply the smoothing primer underneath this foundation um if you have extremely oily skin and you are not comfortable wearing this uh, foundation at first it feels quite heavy like you have something on your face because it is quite thick the consistency of this foundation is quite thick because it is creamy texture but other than that, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face. I like it. So yeah, that is my review on this classic foundation. Let me take it. So yeah, this is my review on this chart foundation. I like it because it is easy. And uh, the downside of this foundation is that I already showed you the amount that you will get in this tube. This is like how much. I used just now and this is how much left so yeah that is like the only downside of the stick foundation that is why I don't have like I don't have any stick foundation at all I hope you guys like this review and tell me what kind of I mean tell me what other foundation that you want me to review and do wear test um, yeah thank you so much you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please subscribe and I will talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!